Hi dear students, today we will discuss about a reflection. So before going to reflection, first we know that uh, optics. So optics means it is a branch of a physics which is a deals with the a study of a light. Okay, so light undergoes reflection, refraction and a dispersion. So these three properties shows a ray nature of a light. Another three property shows wave nature. So those are diffraction, polarization and interference. Okay, so two branches, one is a ray optics, another one is a wave optics. Okay, so next one, light. Why? Because we have to study about the light in this branch. It means optics branch. In the optics branch, we have to study about a behavior of a light. Okay, so here, so light. So light means it is a form of a energy and it is produced sensation of our vision or a sight. Otherwise, a simple definition, so light is a nothing but a electromagnetic radiation. Electro magnetic electromagnetic radiation and it's a wavelength 450 nanometer to 700 nanometer. Sometimes we consider that 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer. Okay, so light is nothing but a electromagnetic radiation and it's a wavelength 450 nanometer to 700 nanometer. Another one definition, so light is a form of energy and it is produced sensation of our sight. Okay, the speed of a light. Speed of light. So speed of a light in a vacuum, why here we consider that a particularly vacuum because whenever a light travel in a different media, so velocity changes. So this reason, so here we consider that a particularly vacuum, so speed of a light in a vacuum, so that one is a 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. It means whenever light travel from one media to another media, its a velocity changes. So this reason, so here we consider that a particularly vacuum. S, so speed of a light in vacuum 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. And the light shows rectilinear property. We always say that light travel along a straight line. Yes. So light traveling along a straight line. So that's what we consider that a rectilinear. Linear means a straight line. Yes. So light always traveling along a straight line. Okay. Another uh, property. So we already know that one is a reflection, a refraction and diffraction, polarization, interference and uh, another one is a diffraction. So totally here we consider that a six properties. Okay. So next one, ray of a light. Next concept, ray of a light. Okay, so ray of a light. It means a light traveling along a straight line. So this reason, so ray of a light is nothing but a straight line with the arrow. Ray of a light means a straight line with the arrow. Okay, so this straight line represent a path and arrow represent a direction. Arrow represent a direction. Without this direction, we cannot say that whether light travel left to right or right to left or upside or downside. So this reason must and should we have to draw arrow. It means so this one represent a direction. Okay, so next one. So bundle of a light rays. So bundle of a light rays 
we can call it has a beam of a light okay so bundle of a light rays suppose here we consider that a number of a light rays are there Yes. So, this number of a light rays, uh, we can call it as a beam of a light. Yes. Okay. So, this one is a beam of a light. So, beam of a light rays means it is a bundle of a light rays. Okay. So, here three types of beams of a light is there. So, first one is a parallel beam. parallel beam of a light second one is convergent beam of a light and third one we consider that a divergent beam of a light okay so parallel beam of a light it means a number of light rays are parallel to each other. Okay, first one parallel to the second one and third one parallel to the second one. It means a number of light rays are parallel to each other. So that's when we consider that a parallel beam of a light. And second one convergent beam of a light. It means a number of light rays are convergent are meeting at a single point number of light rays meeting at a single point or number of a light rays are convergent so this one we consider that a convergent beam of a light another one is a divergent beam it means number of light rays are diverges yes otherwise we consider that number of a light light rays split out from a single point so this one is a divergent beam of a light okay so next concept the main concept so that's one is a reflection main concept so this one is a reflection okay so here the first one we consider that uh, this one is a reflecting a uh, surface okay so upper surface is a reflecting surface and a lower surface we can call it as a opaque or a polished surface okay opaque so opaque so opaque means it is a medium so this medium does not possess light rays through it so that's when we consider that a opaque medium okay so here so this one is a reflecting surface Suppose a light rays is a fall on this reflecting surface. Then what happens? So this light ray suddenly changes its path. Okay. So light ray suddenly changes its path. Yes, it means a bending of a light rays. Otherwise, so this one is a light rays fall on this reflecting surface. So this light ray suddenly changes its path in a same media. Otherwise, we consider that a bouncing back of a light ray is yes? okay. So, reflection means uh, it is a phenomenon of a bouncing back of a light ray in a same media. Is yes? it is a phenomenon of a bouncing back of a light ray in a same medium. So, that's when we consider that a reflection. Okay, so this one is a light ray fall on a reflecting surface. And uh, so this uh, light ray came from this uh, reflecting surface as another one line drawn perpendicular to this uh, reflecting uh, surface. Okay, so this uh, line we consider that a uh, normal as it is always perpendicular to this uh, reflecting uh, surface. Okay, we have to name these lines. So this one we consider that A b c and this one is a n okay so here a o a o is incident ray yes so which light ray is a fall on a reflecting surface so that's when we consider that a incident ray another one is o c 
yes so this oc we consider that a reflected light ray it means which light ray came out from this uh, reflecting surface so that's when we consider that a reflected ray okay another one we consider that a no no is a perpendicular to reflecting surface so this reason so this no we can call it has normal normal or a normal ray it is always perpendicular to reflecting surface and here x and y so this x and y is nothing but a reflecting surface reflecting surface okay so here we get a, a some angles so first one is a angle between normal to incident ray angle between normal to incident ray so this one we consider that a angle of a incidence another one angle angle between reflected to normal or normal to reflected light ray so this one we consider that a angle of a reflection as so angle between normal to incident ray a o n it means this angle we can call it as angle of incidence angle of incidence another one angle angle between normal to reflected light ray so angle n o c s so this angle we can call it as angle of angle of reflection another two angles are there okay these two delta i and this one is a delta r so these two we consider that a glancing angle of incident and a glancing angle of a reflection is yes? so angle between incident ray to this a reflecting surface so this angle is glancing angle of a incident glancing angle of incidence and this one is a glancing angle of a reflection okay next one loss of a reflection next concept is a loss of a reflection so first law so first law angle of incidence is equal to angle of a reflection s angle of incident is equal to the angle of a reflection so this one is a first law of a reflection it means suppose here we consider that angle between normal to this uh, incident ray so this one is a uh, 10 degree the same thing angle between normal to this uh, reflected light ray so this is also 10 degree why because angle of incidence is equal to angle of a uh, reflection another thing suppose so this angle goes on decreases it means angle of incidence decreases then uh, angle of reflection is also decreases when angle of incidence in increases angle of reflection is also increases so this reason angle of incidence is equal to angle of a reflection and a second law of a reflection so second law of a reflection so this one is a incident ray and this one is a reflected ray and this one is a normal and this point we consider that a point of a incident 
incident ray, reflected ray, normal, and this one is a point of a incidence. So these all lie on a same plane. So this reason, second law of a reflection, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal at a point of incidence all lie on a same plane. Why? Because here we consider that this one is a xy plane. Yes, in that x plane, x y plane, so incident ray is there, reflected light ray is there, and a normal is also there. So this reason, angle of, so this reason, incident ray, reflected ray, and a normal at a point of incident all lie on a same plane. So this one is a second law of a reflection. First law, angle of incidence to the angle of reflection and the second law is the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at a point of incidence all lie on a same plane. So this one is a second law of a reflection. First law, angle of incidence to the angle of a reflection. Okay, next one, so that one is a, a main concept, it means a continuous part of this reflection. So reflection, suppose here we consider that this one is a plane mirror, yes, okay, and here we consider that uh, this one is an object, yes, so light rays incident from this uh, object. Then what happens? So these light rays are reflected. And here we consider that a normal. So normal, it is nothing but it is always perpendicular to this reflected surface. It means, suppose here we consider that this one is a reflected light ray. And here normal, so normal is nothing but an incident ray. If you consider that, so light ray incident normally to this reflected surface. Then what happened? The same path. So this light ray is reflected. So this reason, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. The value of, so angle of incident and angle of reflection is zero. We already know that first law, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So value of angle of incident and angle of reflection both are zero. Why? Because, so incident, angle of incidence means it is an angle between a incident ray and a normal. So this angle we consider that is angle of incident. Yes, so this angle of incident is equal to zero. Why? Because so light ray incident normally to this reflected uh, reflecting surface. So this reason angle of incidence is equal to zero. When angle of incidence is equal to zero, then angle of reflection is also zero. Okay. So here, so this one we consider that object. So light ray uh, come from this object, it means so, so these are we consider that incident ray. So these light rays is a fall on a plane mirror. Then what happens? So light rays are reflected. Yes, and here we get the image. It means so this reflected light rays extended. Then what happens? So here we get a S image. Okay, suppose another one diagram is there. Yes, another one diagram, here we consider that this one is an object, incident ray, in the same path we get a reflected ray and here incident ray and this one is a reflected light ray. Okay, so here we get a image. So this one is object and this one is image. So this image is always upright. Okay, so this one is a reflection from a plane mirror. So this concept is reflection. from plane 
mirror reflection from plane mirror another one concept is there reflection from a spherical mirror it means so light rays is reflected on any reflecting surface so that surface may be plane or we consider that a spherical for example here we consider that a, so this one is spherical surface so inner surface is polished or opaque outer surface is reflecting surface whenever the light ray incident on this spherical surface then what happens so this light ray is reflected suppose here we consider that so outer surface is opaque and inner surface is a reflecting surface so this one is incident ray and this one is a reflected light ray is if you consider that a plane mirror okay incident ray and this one is a reflected light ray is so light is reflected at any surface of a reflecting surface whether it is plane or we consider that a spherical